For the past few years, with the help of the Meadowlands Commission and a bunch of volunteers, New York City Audubon and New Jersey Audubon have been working on a project called the Harbor Herons Project. The object is to study the foraging behavior of egrets and herons that roost on the East River and near Staten Island to see if the birds from different nesting colonies are foraging at different sites and to see how the birds use the metropolitan landscape, including the Meadowlands. Many of the birds nest here at a place called South Brother Island, not far from Rikers Island in the East River. Liz Craig of New York City Audubon explains. So the reason that we're doing this telemetry study is so that we can track the birds that are going, you know, that are leaving their nesting colonies here and going out to forage. This year, researchers have banded several birds and put transmitters on some in an effort to keep track of their travels. Some of those birds, great egrets and double-crested cormorants, have been seen in the Meadowlands, and the great egrets' radio signals have been picked up here. Michael Newhouse, a naturalist for the Meadowlands Commission, describes the region's appeal. Well, the herons are breeding in uh, the New York Bay area, and they don't actually feed there. They come to the Meadowlands just for feeding. So the birds that we see, are, are they don't breed here in uh, the Meadowlands, but they feed here and spend their days here, and then at night they'll go back to their, their roosting site. So what if the Meadowlands weren't here, what would they do? That's a very good question. We probably wouldn't have as many. Exactly. So if we want to conserve colonial water birds in the, in the New York, New Jersey estuary area, we need to protect their nesting habitats wherever they are, so for instance South Brother Island here, and we need to protect enough good quality foraging habitats for them to support themselves. And it's all interconnected, even though it's across state boundaries. It's, I mean, the birds are coming from here, going there, back and forth every day. So the protection of both is really necessary for their survival.